a useful metaphor for the human economy and the fundamental activity of our civilization as of the last couple hundred or few thousand years, however you want to measure it, however you want to historicize it. A good metaphor for that is that the economy is a large machine and the fundamental activity of our civilization is to feed the biological and mineral resources of the earth and our children to it at a faster and faster rate. We build onto the machine, add parts, add functions to do better and better job at digesting the resources of the earth and our children to make more of the machine, to add on to this machine. Our children go to school to learn how to grow up to be something that contributes to feeding the machine. The resources of the earth keep dwindling. Our forests are being lost. Huge forests, forests that covered the continents that are now sparse patches between an ever-increasing mega-city that just basically covers the entire arable earth. Why would we continue to feed a machine that just makes more means to feed the machine? The machine doesn't do anything for us. Human intelligence does everything for us. The scientific advancements, the technological advancements, the cultural revolutions. The human spirit did these things, not the economy, not an ideal of progress that the one of the former Fran recent French presidents, um, he's, he's I paraphrase the quote I read that was a translation from French, but he basically said, there is no human progress in the contemporary age without an expanding human population. An ideal of growth, an ideal of wealth, an ideal of economy, an ideal of progress that basically equates to more humans and less biological resources fewer opportunities for our children to enjoy nature, enjoy animals, enjoy shade, other than that of a huge building. Stop feeding the machine. If we understand life adequately, then we will aspire to love it, and a greater love of life will foster understanding. I don't want to feed my children to a machine. I want to teach them how to be something else. That's basically my answer now discovered as an adult to that ancient question. What do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to do with your life? What do you want to see in the world?